Hi guys, it's Cassidy. I'm here with David. We're gonna try out some new stuff today. We have the authentic Fujifilm disposable camera, and we also have an app called David's Disposable. So the David's Disposable is supposed to mimic this um, disposable camera. So we're gonna try it out, kind of compare the two and see what happens. Hey friends, this is David, and when I heard about a camera named after me, I knew I had to try it out. It's the David's Disposable app available on the App Store. It is one of the top photography apps of 2020. Uh, my interest in it, besides being a popular new camera app, is that I do like to use disposable film cameras, but I recognize they're kind of expensive, not only to buy, but you also have them developed. And if you don't have a film scanner like I do, uh, you're gonna have to pay to have that scanned. So using a regular old film disposable camera can run you 20 to $25 each time you purchase and process this thing. And I really wanted to know if there was a cheaper alternative to it. So in our comparison between shots, I'm using the app on my iPhone X and I have the flash turned on. Both of these cameras have flashes going off at the same time. Uh, when you see the side-by-side -side comparison of the two, there really is no contest, in my opinion. I think the things that come off the film camera have a quality to them that feels a little bit timeless. Uh, it does feel a little bit trashy, but trashy in the sense that if that was the aesthetic we were going for. The images that are coming off the app with the phone flash look like literal trash to me. I find no redeeming value whatsoever in each one of these images. And it's very unfortunate, of course, because uh, we have a wonderful model in Cassidy and we're doing everything we can to uh, take away from how great a model she is by utilizing this app. Now I can understand if the app uh, performs better in daylight conditions, outdoors, but the purpose of this side-by-side -side comparison is to really see which is the superior camera and working indoors, uh, it's quite clear that the investment you make in a plain old disposable film camera is far better than utilizing something that's more or less free if you can deal with all the Candy Crush ads. So there's our comparison. I find it hard to believe anyone would disagree with me as to which camera does the better quality, but feel free to argue with me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.